a great question that I see regarding herpes and this IV protocol that we've put together is what is the patient going to obtain in the protocol? How do I define success and what can each patient expect? So number one, the herpes protocol is very inclusive. I have created a protocol that's using the best available ideas of integrative medicine as it comes to herpes management. So that includes intravenous infusions of vitamin C, uh, chelation protocol included, IV ozone, which is very powerful. And then I have other elements of the protocol that are designed specifically for herpes. So this is a very intense protocol. The patients will come into our area of Sarasota, Bradenton. They will stay here for a period of time and receive approximately two IV infusions a week. And they will also start a series of other aspects of the protocol, uh, including oral supplementation and certain oral medications. So that's what the protocol entails. Number two would be, how do you define success? Well, the patients that I've seen success have definitions that include one or three things. Number one, I've absolutely seen patients become cured so that they used to have lesions that were presenting periodically. Their lesions disappear and their antibodies and blood tests normalize. That's one version of success. Another version of success is the antibodies and blood tests do not normalize, but their lesions and outbreaks disappear. That's a second possibility. And the third possibility is the patients merely see an improvement. So there are different degrees and variations of success. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee which of these columns the patients will fit into, but through the scoping of literature and also our own results, we can at least guarantee there's a high chance each patient will fit into one of those categories.